What's up, y'all? Kicker back here. So we're at the junkyard right now. Uh, this is part. Oh no, this is U.S. Auto, um, Sterling Heights, Michigan. Um, this one's off of 18 and a half in Van Dyke, and this is my this is my getaway little play playground. I love this place. I mean, anything about a junkyard. I mean, I, all, I know all y'all probably like, oh, junkyard. Why are you going junkyard? Why don't you go buy brand new? Well, some things that. Um, you can buy brand new, you can get a lot cheaper, and they're still in pretty decent condition. Um, so right now, we're actually just, uh, let me set my phone up real fast. Stand up so I can, oh, the camera over, oh, there we go. So, oh, y'all can't see me. So right now, we're inside of a 94 F-150 right now, and I'm actually just taking out the speakers out of this one. Um, cause my speakers kinda are crappy. And these ones seem to be in a lot better condition than mine did, so I'm gonna take these out. Which I know I'm not using proper tools right now, but it's a junkyard, so screw it, right? Off. And this guy, I guess, he liked, he didn't like the color of his truck, so uh, he actually used Sharpie and painted portion of his truck black. So I guess, I guess to each his own. Let's see what this pride on. This one is coming a lot harder than the other one. The other one popped right out. I don't know why this one's be more of a pain in the ass about it. Anyway. This one actually looks pretty freaking decent too. Nice. I mean, see, stuff like this. I mean, that's not a bad looking speaker. It's not. So, and I mean, they look a lot better than mine. So I'm just going to take these out. I'm going to put them in mine. So, and I'll show you in a minute, I was working on the same truck getting the headlights off. I mean, I kind of broke the front clip getting it off, but I really don't need the front clip because my front clip is still good. I just really, all I need is the um, the headlights because my headlights are all over the freaking place. So let's get these off. So now with these speakers, there's three screws. I'll show you real fast. There's a here, there's one here, there's one down here, and then there's one right there. So once you get that front cover off and that screen, all you need is a Phillips set screwdriver. You can get these right out. And now because I'm just going to be rewiring it all together into my truck, I'm not too worried about actually just cutting the wires. I'd rather rewire it anyway just in case the wiring was bad. So I'm just gonna take these screws out, which there's three of them. There's just little itty bitty little screws like that. I mean, you probably can't see that at all. Um, and then the speaker should just... Oh, there's a fourth one on this one. It wasn't on the other ones. Huh. So there's four screws on this one. So passenger side, there's four screws. I'm guessing the driver's side side should have had four screws, but it only had three. Okay. I got the speaker on. Yeah, that's actually not a bad looking speaker. I mean, these are all looking really pretty nice. I'm just going to cut it off with a coloration that goes into the harness. Which is there. So cut it off here. There we go. Got us off another speaker. All right, so now we're gonna go back over here. So, yeah. That's what I got so far. I got headlights combined. The adjuster screws from mine actually broke. So I'm hoping I can get those out. I got both of them here. Got the bezels, the tail light, marker lights. 
and then the two rear speakers. So, um, I'm going to do a little more searching around. I got to go get a seat belt for uh, my fiance's car. It's her seat, but she's missing a seat belt on the driver's side and her passenger side seat belt. Oh, sorry. She's missing the seat belt on the passenger side. The driver's side seat belt is just kind of crappy. Uh, so, I'm going to run over to the import section, find a Honda, because she's got 2005 Honda Accord. I'm going to find a Honda that has a decent, has two decent seat belts in it, and I'm going to pull them, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I found a 2002 Honda Accord. I couldn't find a 2005, um, but it really didn't change much from 02 to 05. With these Hondas, they pretty much kept, kept them basically the same. So now I just got to go about and gotta pry these panels off. So they should just come off. Just got to get a little pry bar, so I'll be right back. All right, so now I got a little screwdriver. I'm just gonna flip it over to a I can't remember a flat tip screwdriver bit. So yeah, I mean, like I said, from 04, 02 to 05, I really didn't change much. So that's why I have no issues taking the seatbelt and retractor out of this one. I gotta do both sides. So it's gonna take me a minute. So I might just fast forward through this part um, until I actually get all these panels off. Once I get these panels off, I'll show you where the bolts are set up at and what you gotta do to take it off. So, till then, we're right back. Okay, so I don't have all the panels off yet. If you could even see me. Okay, there we go. I don't have all the panels off yet, but I've got the bottom portion where the retractor is, which you can see here. You, know, you got the retractor right here with the seat belt. You got one bolt here, and you have one bolt here. So, um, once we get this in this plug here, if you're wondering, this is just to tell the seat belt to lock up. Like if you were to get into, if you were to slam the brakes, or it, whenever you, if you know that the, if your seat belt keeps locking up, it's most likely because that sensor is going bad. Because that sensor is what tells the seat belt retractor to lock up. Um, so he's got that plug there, which should just come right off. And then you got the two bolts at the bottom there. And once I get these bolts out, I'll be right back. All right, back again. So I got, as you can see now, I got this panel off here, which holds the rail. You're up and down on the seat belt. Now, taking this off is just a couple body. There's a clip there. There's a body pin there. Got to pop those out. This here is held on by a... What was it? A 12 millimeter bolt, I believe it was, and then a 14 at the bottom. And then also... I forgot to mention this portion here at the bottom. It's a 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter bolt right there that holds that there. So now I gotta get these off. These are bolt, these are two 12s, one there and one down there. And that whole, this whole assembly should come right off. So once I get that off, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back again. Um, so I'll be honest, I had to look up a video. <laughs> I could not figure out how to get this plug out, which I found out. They really just push down. So I'm, I'm a complete idiot. Um, but also found out that this here, you don't have to take this whole rail off. You can actually just, just pull this cover off that's over covering the little push tabs. And you can, there's a 14 millimeter bolt right there. You can literally just take that right off and just take the whole seat belt off 
the assembly. So you ain't got You don't even have to take the rail if you don't want to. So I'm gonna do that real fast, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm finished with that one. Got that one out in the barrel. So now I'm just going to repeat the same process on this other one. Cause I need both sides. So same process. Uh, but now that I know that you don't have to take the rail off, this should be a whole lot quicker to get this one done because it's gonna be a whole lot simpler. So I'm gonna do that real fast and then we'll probably, I don't know, it is it is looking like it is 12.52 right now. So I'm probably gonna be packing up, getting out of here, getting back to the house, uh, depending on how much money I have left after this. <laughs> I might go get uh, spark plugs and wires that I need for my F-250. Um, but till then, uh, if I don't if I don't log back on, if I don't do another video portion of this video, um, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I know we're not that big yet. We're trying to get there, doing little videos here and there. Um, so stay for stay looking forward to new up new updates. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, guys, I, I don't, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I know that there's a lot of other people out there like us. I mean, Outlaw, he's a big one. I mean, he's been my inspiration to do this since I started watching his videos uh, over two years ago. I started watching them. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he's, he's a great guy. I've not personally met him. I would love to possibly one day meet him, maybe go on a hunt with him. So, Outlaw, if you ever... You ever get a chance to watch this video um please like hit me up i'd love to uh, meet with you maybe sometime um and i like you to subscribe i mean i feel like um i'm not i feel like like uh you you've been such an inspiration to me and i just want you to know that i know you've been going through some tough times lately um can't wait to try your new yellow blend I mean, I just seen you guys, you posted that up. Can't wait to try. It looks awesome. I'm an avid dipper myself. But anyway, um, going back to you guys. So I'm going to get this retractor out on this side. And then I'll see you once I get back to my truck. So catch y'all later. All right, y'all. So we're back. Just got out of the junkyard. So now I'm heading home. Um, thank y'all for watching this video. I uh, hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Have a Merry Christmas to y'all or Happy Conica, whatever you guys celebrate. I mean, I don't know where you're at in the world, but Christmas is coming up here pretty soon. I mean, we're looking at about, I don't know, two weeks left of Christmas for us here. So, uh, yeah. But you guys all have a great rest of the day. I've been Kicker. Thanks you for watching Redneck Vlogs. And I'll see you later.